so I have this uh, interesting case for you guys patient has history of paralysis she's 35 years old and uh, she has history of previous fractures there is no history of a uh, big trauma or anything now let us look at the sequences I have put forward for you this is a stir and this is T1 now I know like we need to have T2 right yeah let's have T2 here so this is T2 and this is T1 what you can make out at first is this vertebra are hypo intense and even on T2 it is hypo intense so there is a some sort of infiltration going on either by red ma bone marrow which could be physiological or it could be pathological now the problem here is she is 35 year old so multiple myeloma would be lesser down the differential other differential would be lymphomatous things what could be the other differentials which is where I am stuck because I don't know what could be the other options there which would make bone marrow in the spine appear that high point tense and leading to fractures actually uh, one of the re things which can explain fractures would be uh, maybe osteoporosis but even that at 35 years of age highly unlikely now let us look at the other sequences which we have in store for us look at the coronal one coronal star we have uh, first thing I look at it's the liver and it appears hypo but I don't know because this is uh, star I'm refraining from calling it some sort of hemocidrosis or something and let us look at the T2 merge image SWI image I believe uh, here you can see actually a lot of heterogeneous signal intensity going on and uh, you can see the fractures there and yeah and vessels is it useful this sequence I to be frank I don't know I haven't have used it diagnostically anywhere maybe uh, it would be interesting to see what really use of this other differential could be metastasis for example from breast or other things sclerotic uh, yeah could be sclerotic mats could be one differential here. Uh, yeah it, it would make sense wouldn't it uh, yeah it would female patient breast here could present with a sclerotic mats but but this infiltrative I don't know maybe she has thalassemia already no paravertebral soft tissue or anything I don't know again difficult really no kidding let us look at the axial images can you yeah I think It's quite infiltrative. Even sacrum and other things. I am really stuck here. At 35 years of age. What could be the differential of this thing? So this is normal T2, right? Yeah. And this is pancreas. Yeah, which, which appears. Okay, I, I can give it to you. But what about liver? Should it be this hypo? No. Not at all. Something is really weird going on here. Maybe this patient has indeed thalassemia or some kind of thing and she is getting uh, transfusions or something like that. What about spleen? I, I just missed it but uh, 
you can see there is a some part here all right okay cool we need more history got it interesting guys uh, let me know what you guys think at 35 years of age what would be the marrow infiltrative disorders uh, which appears hypo on t1 and t2 you know it's quite heterogeneous isn't it t1 it appears homogeneously hyper intense but on t2 on stir and on that t2 merge it appears quite heterogeneous yeah. which other sequence you think should have been used what other places you think you should have been scanned i guess uh, liver and spleen would be the one thing to start yeah all right thank you have a nice day